Alright, well we had a very good day today and we've uncovered more of the floor, we've discovered possibly another floor beneath this one, which is consistent with what was found at the other end of the building, the fireplace, we removed all the metal structure and found the lower, the earlier fireplace beneath it, but we also had today one of the, um, the find I think we've all been waiting for, a find clearly associated with the school. Um, it came after in this corner the discovery of this little bit of pottery in the bag which is a blue and white, uh, it's a, called a blue running edge uh, which is an 18th century bit of pottery, it's actually found in quite a number of sites in Durness so that was good in the context of the school use um, and then just after that came this amazing little thing which is actually an individual inkwell um, clear evidence of the use of the building as a school. This is what the pupil would have had at, the, at his or her desk. The master would have come along and filled it up from a big ink jar uh, into this. It's unglazed pottery with a little bit of glazing around the top and it was absolutely wonderful to find that real part of the school. And then moments after that came just a fragment of glass but it could well be the jar, the ink bottle, the big ink bottle that the small um, ink well was filled from. That's a bit of 18th century glass, it's um, handmade, the lip indicates the, the age of it. So that was really um, very good finds in context of the school. So really glad to see that. Um, yes, I think that's probably it for in here. Okay, so the floor, um, you can still see the hard floor that that end of the room finishes about there. And then... Well, then we're into rubble. And this stone in here, although there's some distinct deposits of it, there's dark material here, there's lighter material here, which seems to be the same as this stuff over in the corner. Um, all of it looks like it's been brought in here just to raise the level of the floor. Um, and I suspect all of it has had a, a timber floor over the top. Um, <clears throat> there's no sign at all in here of any clay directly on top of the stones um, so I think there's a, a pretty good chance that at some point in here we've had a, 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 a division there's been a, a some sort of wall or internal division and you've got this floor on one side and maybe a timber floor on the other side of it um, so it's not quite what we'd hoped for in terms of the divisions of the of the rooms, but I think uh, uh, it's it's the one thing we can say is that there there has been some sort of division here, and there's different stuff going on in either side. Although in this corner, where Graham had been digging, uh, he has found stones which look very similar in some ways, and what we might have there is is the, exactly the same thing going on. So there may be another floor beneath the level of the floor you see in this side of the building. And this is just an old-fashioned equivalent of the whiteboard that we use in small whiteboards. And these were used in school. Uh, <coughs> me and the other lads from Glasgow were like quickly like oh, crap these things are brilliant but um, they were just so typically colonial you know uh -huh. they, um, they, they're like just moaning like hell about everything in Ireland you know yeah. <laughs> and, they, and they're especially the shovels and they actually got themselves English shovels
many. Well, I've got a wee theory from today. I was just standing having a rolly actually, and I noticed, see the bottom course, how it, uh, it's slumped. It's a right slump on it there. And it, all of this looks as if it's sort of beveling out and bowing out. And then started noticing this wee bit here is highly unusual, and how none of these stones are tied into the corner. So I think, I think this is maybe a repair, because the, the whole gable end started to subside, which would make sense because this floor is really low, and uh, this is actually the bottom course, and so the floor is actually below the level of the bottom stone. So it makes sense that the whole thing's a bit unsteady. And uh, so m maybe this has been repaired, and that was uh, something to do with raising the floor as well, so that there was less pressure uh, caving the wall in.